Wavy team, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Stirring Abyss. So we've had a look at this uh, back when it came out, when was it, 2020, October 2020. Okay, cool, been a year plus change, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna start revisiting games a little bit more often on the channel, um, hopefully daily, along with something new. Yeah, we're gonna start pumping videos out more in the new year. And I thought this is as good a time as any to revisit this game. This game's great. Uh, it's like a submarine underwater sort of Cthulhu-esque uh, game. I, I, I've come to realize I love all things underwater. I was watching the movie The Meg, which you should see. And it makes me hate critics. All the critics give it like 50% or something like that. No, it's a good Jason Statham versus a giant friggin' shark underwater research lab romp. And these movies are fantastic B-grade schlock, and I love them, and it made me want to play an underwater game. So here we are. So we're going to show this off. Um, it's published by Slytherin, <coughs> excuse me, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, they have a very eclectic uh, uh, indie to double A sort of catalogue. Um, I suppose there's a demo up on Steam, so you can check it out yourself. And if you're watching this when I put this video up now, it still should be on half price for the rest of the sort of January sale period. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's go. Story. Difficulty ease. What is this? Normal. I'm normal. Put it on normal. Story. Now, if we do enjoy this, let's play some more episodes of it. So make yourself heard if you want to see this turned into a bit more of a playthrough. The USS Salem, 10th of November, 58. The North, let's assume Atlantic. The coordinates brought us to an uncharted peak. Mmm. How good is this art? Mountain rising from the lightless depths. Yeah. Shrouded in mystery. Oh, mysterious, yes. We thought we'd prepared for everything. Oh no, but you didn't, did you? Did you? The USS Salem No, no good, no ballast. Ooh, it's all very spoopy. Let's go. How little we knew. Yes. The abyss hides more than ancient ruins and lost history. Yeah, right. And our arrival. It's fifties. It was, I think. Yeah. Very ominous, very ominous indeed. Yes. All right, that's all the setup I need. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're a submarine. We're stuck underwater. Uh, there's horrible, bloody nightmare fuel under there, as if there already wasn't anyway. Oh, I've seen what comes out of a seawater scrubber in the middle of the ocean. Things that you can't imagine. Oh, scary stuff. I think I think reality's scary enough for me. <laughs> I don't need the Lovecraftian twist. All right. After the fall, welcome to Stirring Abyss. You begin the game with one diver under control. You've got to find a way out of the cave. Right click. You can spend action points on your movement in one big move or a series of small ones, as long as you don't take one action to use up action in the middle of moving. Okay. Divers only start their turn with two action points. You can see action points in ovals. Right. Okay, cool. Half oval is an action point currently in use for movement. Right. Um, I don't see anything except pitch black. That doesn't seem... Oh, hello, sir. I pressed tab and I found my dude. Um, off to the race as we go. Now, where's your movement point? Movement point still in use. Right. All right. Okay. Okay. Then now it's fully expired. Oh, look at the little, oh, look at that, okay. Let's go out here, see if we can get a bit more of a, oh, what is this? Eldritch activity. Ooh, that's ominous. Uh, onward and upward, uh, investigate. What's this? 98 health, Commodore Drake. Commodore Drake swears under his breath. A corpse of the fallen caves, of all the caves in the ocean, there is a corpse in this one. That can't be a good omen. No, I wouldn't think so. Though the uniform is old and the years have taken their toll, it is clear that the deceased sailor was of an extremely high rank. Not a man who would be unceremoniously buried at sea under normal circumstances. Mutiny, perhaps, or battle. 
There are no answers here. All Drake knows is that he would rather avoid suffering whatever gruesome fate claimed the man. Lowering his head in respect for a fellow sailor, he moves on. All right, okay. And I got plus six uh, question marks. Bonza. Okay, quick tip. Control the camera. Yeah, okay, thanks, mate. I'm good. It's not my first rodeo. All right, let's go over here. Oh, US Navy sack. Let's go. Uh, what's this? Contents. Items. We found a first item. Spear gun. They can carry two items at a time. Take the spear gun, blah, 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 blah. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Costs a minimum of action point to use. Right, so this is how I'm going to zap every... This is how I'm going to deal with every problem in my life. With a spear gun. So it's not... Situation no change, basically. All right, very good. Eldritch activity. Look out, it's a jellyfish. He's almost as healthy as me. All right. Let's shoot this fucking jellyfish. Oots. All right. Not great. Not great. Uh-oh. 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 It's coming to get me. All right. Uh, minus one air. You've ended combat. Use the spear gun. Yeah, I tried that. It didn't really work. You can also melee. Um, okay, cool. If you choose to use the spear gun, use your shots wisely. Make sure nothing is blocking your path. Okay, cool. Be aware. Right. Now, is that... <sighs> Loaded ammo. I think you get infinite ammo. It also seems to have a bundle of dynamite, which is uh, kind of cool. Defensive posture. All right, now if I shoot you point blank, 0% chance. Oh, I like that. This game's going to force me into melee. But if I jab you, I've got a 78% chance. Let's go. Yeah, fuck, fuck it. Yeah, look at that. Guess what's on the menu, boys? Jellyfish. All right. All right. Well, I don't have to take the full move, right? I can I can just move. Like, I could do this, and I'll still get my leftovers. Okay. So I don't have to just send it like a nut job into the dark. And I've also got this, which seems incredibly dangerous. Um, hang on. Maybe we should read that. Cluster shot. Projectile filled with explosives. Oh. Cooldown six... Attach to the spear, then break off, deal heavy damage to the initial target and all targets adjacent to it. And I, I can also stand defensively to get some damage absorption. Okay, well, that's kind of... Does that use an action point? Active. Cooldown, yes. And duration, one. Right, let's go talk to this bloke who's just chilling. Lost and found. Navigating the gloomy cavern, Commodore Drake comes to an abrupt stop. A motionless figure lays hunched against a rock wall, clad in one of the expedition diving suits. He is not alone. Rushing to the side of his fallen comrade, Drake is relieved to see a small burst of bubbles escaping the exhaust vent of the suit. Out cold, perhaps, but breathing. This is Commodore Drake. Can you hear me? He can only hope the radio transceivers on both suits are still functional. The moment of silence feels immeasurably long until a faint reply echoes inside his helmet. I'm here, a copy, I mean, I'm Seaman Clark, groggy and confused just as he himself was upon, uh, 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 hang on, it's Seaman Clark, groggy and confused just as he himself was upon coming to. What's going on? Where am I? Not a lot of answers as of yet, Seaman, Drake replied, forcing calmness and confidence into his voice. Get up and check your gear. We have a lot to do. All right. We've got ourselves one boy, one by deckhand to help us out. Second diver. You can switch between divers by clicking on them, by clicking on their model. They have skills that can help you as well. Cool. Oh, first things first, we have to find the USS Salem and quickly. Oh, look at this Chad stash. Yes, sir. No time to waste. Okay. What's going on here? Diving suit. Remaining air. Okay, cool. Oh, they've got their little rank as well. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Now, what's this guy got? Brawler. Never. Out, outnumbered, never. Out, ma match, never. Oh, yes, okay. Strike several different targets in melee range with blistering speed. Okay, cool. And uh, seems to have a consumable med kit. All right, so this dude's a bloody stabathon. All right, can I tab between the two? Yes. Okay. Right, well, we've got the gun. I suppose I could give him the gun. Um, I'm not that worried, to be honest. What is this? Why is that locked? I guess I just don't get that slot. All right, 
We'll send old mate in first. Clarky. Big Clarky. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good forward obs, Clarky. All right. Oh, it's a, a bloody thing. All right, let's see if I can zap it from here. 100%. Boots. Can I reload this? Reload required, an action point. Can we inspect corpse? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, let's try out your brawler ability. Uh, was, okay, so it only helps when there's multiple dudes, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, he got zapped. He got zapped. Um, what if I go defensive posture and... Oh, that uses up all your action points. All right. One action point. So I think the way it works, if I were to use that now, it's going to end my turn. Even though it's saying it'll use up... I think so. Oh no, it didn't end my turn. See, this cost all available action points. Hmm. Okay, so you want to try and leverage that if you can help it. All right, let's open up an angle. Hopefully this thing just, maybe we've got attack of opportunity. I don't know, I don't know. All right, that's all right. Oh, good damage resistance, my, my dude. Great work. Stand still while I shoot this thing. Nice. Look at that. How many of them can there be? Oh, I like the little the little mist thing around them. That's cool. All right, inspect corpse. The broken jellyfish lies deflated at his feet. Tiny electric discharges still visible within the pale membrane. Clark is no expert on these creatures, but he knows they don't use electricity to hunt or defend themselves. An entirely new species of Sisphosa. Cis Cisphozoa? Uh, Cyphozoa. In a different context, this would be a great biological discovery. But right now, it's only putting him more on edge. Plus five question marks. All right, look at this. I'm collecting them. That's so cool. All right, now, where were we? Oh, there's like an up. Um, maybe we just go scout down here, see if there's anything interesting. I don't know, maybe. Traverse. That sounds cool. Boom. I'm out. This must be the ocean floor. Anything interesting around? There's some scrap metal here. Should grab it just in case. Oh, there's a light just north of me. I think it's the USS Salem. That's what I want to hear. I'm right behind you. Oh, there it is. There's the anchor. All right. All right. Too far. Okay. Can I interact diagonally? I can. Okay. That Scarlet will remember this, knowing full well that he will forget this. Um, old mate. What's this? Copper? Very good. Pick that up. New orders. Find and enter the submarine. Primary. All right. Carefully ascending the sturdy anchor chain, Clark reaches the airlock contraption at the con. The mechanism opens with ease, just like in training. He can't wait to be inside and shed this damned suit. The conning tower is a mess, with miscellaneous equipment strewn haphazardly all around the small room. First things first, though, the control room. The seaman kneels next to the hatch and pulls. The heavy steel door gives way to it with a tortured creak, revealing an almost still surface of dark water. The ship is flooded. Panic rears its head within Clark. The USS Salem is their only way home, his only hope of seeing his family again. If it is too badly damaged to move or to even surface. Focus! The sub is floating, which means there's plenty of air inside it somewhere. All they need to do is pump the water out of the flooded sections and get the equipment in the control room operational. He's not going down without a fight. 
continue. Oh, this is good. I'm uh, enjoying this this narrative delivery. Uh, evacuate when ready. Uh, how does that work? Is there an evacuate button? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get old mate over here and get out. There we go. All right. Well, there you go. All right. USS Salem. So this is our sort of uh, XCOM ant farm base, uh, I guess. I played a bit of this. I haven't played a huge amount. We, we got a few episodes down the tube last year, I think. Mission successful. Look at this. We got some clues. We got some scrap and we got some copper and we killed a whole bunch of jellyfish. Nice. But that's very secret. Don't tell anybody. All right. Salem is your base of operations. As you progress through the game, you can power, uh, use power and other resources to restore functionality, right? Heal crew members. That's cool. Need to pump the flooded control room, right? You also need to some scrap and copper to repair the control room. Salem is also has an inventory that contains crucial supplies. Drag items out of the inventory into the divers. Yep, yep, yep. To take them with you. Oh, right. Okay. Dri divers inventory can be accessed. Blah, blah. That's fine. That's cool. Okay. Let's now. Is this the con that's the conning tower? Not a lot going on there. We only have a little bit of power here. Let's uh, let's pump. Let's pump the control. Look, and that's used up a bit of power. Okay. Repairing control room is no longer flooded. Uh, critical systems have to be repaired. Right. Right. Confirm. Oh, I got uh, uh, some amphetamine. Well, there you go. That's a great way to reward me. I'll tell you that much for free. Um, okay. Repair the room. Uh, sure. The great machine comes alive slowly, machinery still locked behind flooded sections responding to the call of the control room. The hum and vibration of the engines brings hope, but not as much as the blinking light on the radio panel. The emergency beacon locator. Tens of diving suits, each fitted with a transmitter, are missing from their stowage. Only one signal is active right now, but perhaps the others are just out of range or temporarily disabled. After the difficult repairs and the haunting emptiness they found on the USS Salem, it feels good to have a clear way forward. Much remains to be done aboard a ship. Most functions are completely offline, and the rest is held together by the power of duct tape and positive thinking. To make things more difficult, the wiring manual in the control room maintenance cabinet has escaped its waterproof casing. The old girl is going to need some serious dry dock time if, when, they get home. All right. This is good. I like this writing a lot. All right, cool. Just one more wire and there we go. The radio or white ray is up and running. Oh, very good. We've got a signal. We'll have to move the ship, but it's not far. The old girl can limp that distance even in this shape. Well, there you go. We can sort of zoom out a bit. We can, can we move around? Maybe with middle click. Hey, there we go. So we've got a little bit of exploring to do. Nautical charts, launch mission, Enigma board. Uh, we could pump for, for six power, which we do not have. Um, right. And we've got, we've got searchlight which costs power to illuminate the area. Okay, I don't think we can use that now. Amplify signal. These are like in-mission abilities. Um, okay, let's click the Enigma. Oh, I'm not allowed to. Okay, that's fine. Let's click the nautical charts. Here we go. Here we go. So that's ticked already. Can't travel to that mission. Let's click on this bad boy. <laughs> hey, we're off to the races. Expedition lost. Oh, oh, straight in? Mm, bugger. Uh, I didn't get to sort of put on my equipment. The signal is coming from somewhere nearby. I don't want to be out here either, but the others need us. Oh, and our health hasn't fully recovered? Yes, sir. Duty calls. Let's bring them home. Oh, this is such a manly game. Keep an eye out for the wiring manual as well. Without it, we're in a real pickle. Um, okay. Divers come in three different classes. Officer, crewman, and scientist. Each class has access to different skills. Crewmen are melee oriented and will be found in the thick of battle. Officers and scientists have more range and support skills. Okay, we've got a little bloody radar. Now, what's this question mark? Quick, click me. Oh, that's the, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. 
We've got some beeping. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got some things out there. So what's the yellow? Objective and air vent. Right. Right. It's like chemical plant zone all over again. We will suffocate if we don't suck on bubbles. Um, all right. Cool. Well, if that is the case, let us go. I'm half tempted to sort of explore out here a little bit, see what's going on. Oh, it's a dead end. That's okay, I'll just catch up. We just have to keep an eye on our oxygen. All right, mate, you continue to lead the charge. Up the guts. Now, will that be able to hit me from here? I think it will. I think it'll get in close and hit me. So... We're going to close that gap. Nice. Oh, he's got a little little bloody force field. Oh, it's run away. Something's moving out there. All right, so we're on a three cooldown for his damage reduction. There's our air vent, air 30. Oh, okay, so you just straight up take 20 out of 22 remaining. It must be per round, and if I like... There you go, you just take two from it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's two of them. Mm, hang on, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Hang on. Oh, you know what? This is his opportunity to brawl with them. Yes. Oh, what's that? It's a bloody fish. Okay. Should have stayed out of the way, you stupid mollusk. Did he get them both? No, he didn't. Okay, hang on. Maybe we just fire this thing. Oh, he wasn't in range of it. I messed up, messed up. Okay, let's see. Let's test this thing out. Oh, nice. Okay, so it, it, it double taps them on the same spot. Good to know. We're learning. No, it's going to zap me. Submarine skills. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's these. Searchlights to illuminate target area so we can clear fog of war. Beware the red blips. Amplify signal. So only for a short time to gain valuable information about nearby threats. Okay. And retreat. You can set up an evac... Oh, so that's a, that's a XCOM evacuation, essentially. Oh. Oh, and that's attack of opportunity, I think, is what's going on there. Save him, Clarky. You can do it. Oh, my God. He's a Chad. Yes. Deflated for good. Oh, and he's got all the lines as well. You love it. You love to see it. Um, all right. Let's send Clarky out here. Scrap metal. All right. Look at that. See? Exploration wins the day. Um, yes. Right up the guts, mate. Now you probably run you all the way out to here and then we'll just clip the air vent. Air tank full. Oh, hang on. Have I got... Oh, I've got them back to front. Um. Okay. That's all right. It's not a big deal. I do... I, I do want to be kind of safe than sorry here, though. So, we will double back. But I'll... I will continue to split push because I want to explore. We'll just go gently unto the abyss. Scouting ahead. Control room has unlocked two submarine skills that will find mission objectives and identify it. Yeah, that's okay. Use a submarine skill. I don't want to. 
Sona detects enemies nearby, but good idea to use the searchlight. Like, well, I'm not really sure how power works. Like, because we need more. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 let's go. All right. All right. What is this? Supplies, chemicals, transfer to submarine. Oh, okay. That's cool. What do they do? Special materials used for healing, diver, health, and sanity. That seems pretty good. It's like a health kit. Let's see if we can marry up with the old mate. Oh, I found a question mark. Investigate object. Get rid of that. The ghastly bones have been picked clean. Some previously unknown species of archaic human or another type of mutant. Upon closer inspection, the misshapen skull has a distinctly unnatural look to it, as if it had bulged and deformed suddenly and traumatically, rather than having grown that way. Crack shot. What a nice big forehead. Perfect for Drake. What? <laughs> Crack shot? Okay. Okay, let's go with that. That's fine. Sure. He m maybe he has like a perk or something. Can I click here? Crack shot. Oh, plus one to aim. Ah, oh, so you got traits? What about you? Robust. Able to carry an extra item. Right, he is a robust man. Look, look at him. Man of men. What a stat sheet. Uh-oh. Um... Hang on, hang on. Oh, there's three of them. <gasps> Defensive posture. I'm hoping they mob him. He can handle that. Can I get around to you at all? Right, there's stuff down here. Missed. Good. Great. Come on, attack him. You can take it, Clarky. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> nice. Maybe I double back. It hasn't got attack of opportunity, and I don't really have the action points to finish the job. So... Maybe we just sort of chill here and bait it. Um. Oh shit, there's something out there. Look, I don't care how deep we are, that definitely is not normal. Oh, it's a dude! Personnel sheet with detail by pressing C. Maybe we can use that to keep it the hell away from us. You mean this thing? I don't know. I don't know. Clarky, you did well pushing it. Oh, great work, mate. I think that's a dead end up there. It's hard to tell. Um, 40 health! Hang on. We're going to fall back to Clark's position. And then we're going to bloody start sending rounds. Oh, it's like explosive. Okay. Alright. Alright. 
splayed open. All that remains of the once bulging pod are the shreds of a thin but tough shell strung between supporting spines. The pressure inside the bizarre crawl like husk must have been immense. A quirk of evolution previously unknown to silence or the consequence of some unnatural force. Who is to say? Am I allowed to save this game? It looks like I am. Save and exit. Right. Fantastic. Oh, I'm having a really good time playing this. I hope you're enjoying watching it. I know it's a little bit out of left field and, you know, uh, let me know what you reckon. Uh, I would be happy to make more episodes of this if it is well received, of course. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.